Hey folks, I'm Hugh from Carol Sausage and Country Store. Cooking is my passion. If you're looking for the best recipes from the farm to the table, then you have come to the right place. So pull up a chair and let's eat. Folks, welcome to another edition of Cooking with Hugh. I'm your host tonight, Hugh Hardy, and I tell you, we are excited. We are down in Tifton, Georgia, at this, you can see this nice test kitchen right here, Conger LP Gas Company. What an awesome place this is, and I tell you, what a beautiful showroom that these guys have here. And uh, we're just glad to be here tonight. We're actually doing something a little different today. We have a live studio audience. We have an audience of people who have come from all over the place, and we're, we may... Uh, Give them a chance here in a little while just to kind of mention where they're from because I know some have traveled a very long way to get here tonight. Uh, and we are just excited to have each of you guys here tonight. We hope you enjoy yourselves and I hope that you at home are going to enjoy this show. And we've got some exciting recipes that we're going to be sharing with you. And I'm going to kick this one off tonight with our uh, St. Louis style rib recipe that I've been cooking and I use quite a bit at home. Uh, these, these, we're going to be using uh, the Wolf uh, brand oven here tonight to, to bake these in, which I, I tell you what, I've just used it for the first time and it is awesome. Uh, but I'm going to start out, I've got a, a slab of St. Louis style ribs. This is the way they come from Carol Sausage. And uh, they actually cut these for me fresh this morning. Tristan, Tristan got these up for me earlier today. And that's the good thing about the way we do things at Carol Sausage is when you come in and get your meat, it's fresh. It's about as fresh as you're going to find it. And we offer a money-back guarantee on everything that we sell. So if you get something you're not happy with, you let us know. We want to hear from you. We want to know because we're going to make it right. Because if you're not happy, we're not happy. All right. I'm going to lay these ribs out here. on the, I've got a, a cutting board here. I'm going to slice these Slice these ribs up in between. What I'm going to do is cut these ribs in between each rib. Here's some of the ingredients I'm going to be using here. Some of my apple bourbon seasoning. A little bit of our slather and brand sauce. This is a Robin Ray. I met her several years ago. Uh, and she's, she's, since, she's out of South Carolina. But this we're going to be using some of her hot sauce. A little bit of Joe Kim's barbecue sauce. Out of Moultrie, Georgia. Also flavor of Georgia winter. And uh, we're going to be mixing those in with a little bit of lemon juice. But I'm going to start out here by cutting these St. Louis style ribs. You see those there. And you can use baby backs. Baby back ribs are good for this recipe as well. But I'm going to start out by cutting between each rib. And it's really, these, the good thing about St. Louis styles is they already have the brisket cut off. So when you're slicing them, it makes it a lot easier to slice these up at home. I'm going to slice these. It just cut in between every rib. These, uh, we run these on sale quite often. This is a, these St. Louis style ribs is an item that we run in our ad at least every couple of months. So you can check out our Facebook page for that ad that we have. And also, of course, you can see us, you know, quite often on WALB, they air our uh, sales specials and stuff uh, every week. And uh, we usually run an ad. Our ads run usually by the month, you know, one, whatever we have, it goes from month to month. Okay, got those sliced up. I'm gonna add some lemon juice. Now, generally what I like to do, I can't do it here tonight because uh, we don't have the time, but I'm gonna coat these over with lemon juice and I like to let these sit out for about an hour, hour and a half, pour a couple of cups of lemon juice over that. About an hour, hour and a half, just to kind of get really get room temperature, and it seems to me like it kind of absorbs that lemon juice and it gives it that wangy, tangy flavor. We're going to add. Let me cut these gloves off here. I'm going to add a little bit of apple bourbon season. This is a Carol's uh, season that we have. I like it because it's kind of got. It's not real. It's not a spicy seasoning. It's more of a sweet. Uh, Kind of a sweet smoky flavor it gives it a little bit of a sweet smoky flavor so i'm going to just sprinkle some of that over the top just kind of coat those down and this doesn't have these this apple bourbon doesn't have a lot of salt in it i mean it does have a little bit of salt but it's not a real salty 
seasoning, so I'm going to add just a little bit of salt in here. I'm going to put a little bit more, add some black pepper. There we go. I've already preheated the oven to uh, about 325. All right, now I've got a little cup. Let me set these over to the side. Use a little Joe Kim's barbecue sauce, which also Joe Kim's is a sponsor of Cooking With You, and we appreciate him doing that for us. And we carry his sauce, at, his sauces, uh, and well, he's got actually a rub too that he just uh, come out with, and a hot sauce. And we carry all of his products at both locations in Sylvester and Ashburn. And you can find this product on a lot of grocery shelves all around this area as well. Good, good barbecue sauce. Good on chicken too. Really good on chicken. Now I'm going to add some uh, Slathering brand sauce. This is something that you're not going to find a lot of this product around this area right now. I know that as far as I know, Carol's is the only one that carries the Slathering brand sauce. You'll see it on shelves more up in South Carolina, but it is good. It's a, kind of a sweet and spicy. It's got a little, this has got a spicy. Now they have, she has a mild as well, but this is a little bit spicy. But it's good. If you notice our uh, recipe cards that you have in front of you tonight have half a cup of hot sauce on it, which you can do the hot sauce as well just to kind of heat up that barbecue sauce. But I have, uh, I'm using the, the, the bold slathering brands tonight. There we go. Now I just want to pour these over the ribs. Pour this right over the top. There we go. That's it. I'm going to cover this. We're going to put it in the oven and bake it at uh, on 325 in the confectioning oven. Thank you, Brittany. In the confectioning oven, this wolf oven actually cooks a lot faster than than a lot of the ovens. So you, you, if you have a wolf wolf confectioning oven, it probably take about an hour to get these done. That's it, 325 degrees. Bake those for about an hour, and what I'm gonna do after they bake for an hour, we'll take the foil off and just turn the oven down a little bit and just kind of let that sauce kind of dry a little bit on top. And that's it for those recipe. On that recipe, y'all uh, y'all don't go anywhere. We'll be right back in just a minute. Our day always starts early, making sure everything gets done. And every day, Conger LP Gas helps. Life's better with propane. It's reliable, clean, and American-made. A full house with our busy schedule and what seems to be never-ending laundry. Having enough hot water is important because at the end of the day, there's always enough hot water for me. Conger LP Gas, fueling your life every day. Have you heard about the great Georgia-grown oils and flowers made by Oliver Farm in Pitts, Georgia? This family-owned and operated business are pioneers in the field and are proud to offer you freshly pressed, straight-off-the-farm cooking oils. Use them like you would any other oil. Great for marinades, dressings, sautéing, frying, and grilling. Check out our webpage, oliverfarm.com, and see what we have to offer. Then pick up a bottle at Carol's for your next cooking adventure. Lori Joe's, we strive to bring you the best products made from the finest and locally sourced produce around. Our store is stocked with a variety of Georgia grown products and gifts. We always have our homemade chicken salad and pimento cheese ready and waiting for you. So come see us at 4428 U.S. Highway 319 North in Norman Park, Georgia, where we are preserving flavor, food, and fun. Or visit us at LoriJoe's.com and we will ship right to your home. The Georgia Grown logo is a symbol of quality throughout our nation. Georgia is nature's favorite state where agriculture is the number one business. Learn about agro-tourism, explore unique farming venues, and see where your food comes from on the Georgia Grown trails. In season, you can purchase fresh Georgia produce and other fine Georgia Grown products. Help grow Georgia's economy and support your neighbors by purchasing products with the Georgia Grown logo. 
Welcome back, folks. I tell you what, we're excited. I've got a good friend of mine, also a, a future uh, TV celebrity right here with me, yeah. Mr. Dan Richardson, <laughs> LP Gas Company. We are in his kitchen right here in Tifton, Georgia, Yeah, at the LP Gas uh, Test Kitchen. Yeah, which and, is, and we're just excited to have Hugh here. Oh, I tell Everybody you. knows Hugh Hardy oh, and Carol Sausage. <laughs> Hey, it's fun. It's been fun. We've done yeah. several segments here in this That's kitchen, right. and it, yeah. it, I love it. I love the kitchen. Yeah. I love the showroom. I can't wait to get my new grill and my new mm -hmm. heater and all that stuff home. All of it's it going to be up. free. I tell you, it's going to be nice. <laughs> hey, we're here today in uh, Tipton, Georgia, and we're in front of a live studio audience. We're excited. We want to say a special thanks to all of you who have tuned in and all of you who have came to sap the, well, today to uh, uh, be a part of the show. We are looking forward to having a having a good time and not I tell you something I wanted to, to cook for you today was a breakfast burrito because I know how you like to eat breakfast oh absolutely I love to eat breakfast like lunch, lunch dinner, 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 dinner yeah I hear you, you were telling me, yeah he was yeah. telling me about all these steaks yeah. that he's cooking and he's got me wanting to go by the store on the way home now and pick uh, yeah. me up one and yeah. go throw it on the grill well Mr. Dan we have got I've got a recipe I wanted to share with you it's a breakfast burrito uh -huh. and it's uh some of our carol sausage as a matter of fact Here's the, the recipe, you'll find it right here in this cookbook, page 142. Um, it's one that uh, I've done several years ago on the show. Real, the, the recipe that I have in the book is real simple, real easy. It's only just a, two or three ingredients, but I'm gonna add a few extra things to it tonight. Just And I, the re reason why I wanna do that is because I wanna let folks know, hey, you don't always have to go right by my recipes because mm -hmm. I never go right by my recipes. I always change them a little to see if I can't make them better or something different. but. Uh, yeah. You'll find it on one, page 142 of my cookbook. And also you can go to Facebook, uh, Carol Sausage, Cooking With You, check out our uh, recipes on that as well. And if you come in the store, you can pick the recipe cards up. Yeah. Or you can come down here to Conger Gas and That's get these right. recipes that we're showing you tonight. They'll have them on file. And check out the showroom and yeah. check and, out their test kitchen. And go to Conger LP Gas's Facebook. Right now, Kirsten is in the back putting stuff on Facebook as we speak. So. There's a lot of things that we'll have on there of Hughes. So. A lot of a lot of videos, a lot, a lot of different of things y'all do, y'all. And y'all have all kind of y'all host several events down here all the time. Y'all always got stuff going on, which is good for the That's community. Right. And all right, well, hey, I'm gonna get this thing started. I've turned the uh, Go, I've man. got the Go. heat on. I've got the skillet heating up right here, and it doesn't take it long to heat up on this wolf range top. I'm gonna put That's a, a little, nice cook top. Oh, isn't it? I love it. I love it. Y'all definitely talked me into putting one at the house out here soon, <laughs> I hope. Little, okay, Bobby Dollar, I want a commission. Yeah, there you go. We're going to start off with a little bit of Oliver Farms uh, sunflower oil. Of course, y'all y'all know I love this stuff. I use it in everything. I like the, the uh, he also has an infused oil that's got a little uh -huh. flavor and seasoning to it, too. But uh, he's a sponsor of Cooking With You, so we, we, we're proud to promote his products. And uh, I, I'm just, I, it's, it's very good. I mean, I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't i love his his sunflower oil and he's got several other kinds mm -hmm. of oils and stuff too i'm gonna start off uh one of the ingredients in this is is carol's pan sausage i think in the recipe book it says one pound but i've actually got a couple of pounds here because we've got quite a few guests here tonight so we i've done a couple of pounds of uh mild pan and you can uh I, what i've done is really, I, I went ahead and pre-brown that Mm -hmm. A little earlier, you know, before. Oh, we started I know you. You had it. You had it smelling so good in here this afternoon. Oh, everybody, I mean, it was. They, they yeah. were asking for aroma, aroma vision on the uh, yeah. Facebook when, when Kirsten was doing earlier. She was doing the That's right. Facebook. Uh, Our employees, video. I think, left a little bit early because they were hungry. Oh. They were running home to fix, fix dinner. Well, I've added. Um, I've got the the heat turned up on this thing here. Got it sizzling. I'm, I've added about a cup or so of uh, chopped bell pepper and I could just pour all that in on the one and all right I've added a uh, one whole chopped onion that's a that's about a about two small bell peppers is what I used here what I want to do like I said I've already pre-browned my pan sausage normally what I would do is I would brown the onions and peppers in with the sausage but uh I didn't want to cook too much because yeah. I, I wanted you to I wanted you to understand how to make these things when you start cooking That's them in right. the morning. So That's, when I go home I and make them for Vivian, I didn't want you to miss it. Surprise her. There you go. Because she'll be shocked. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm going to add some colored, a little red and, and yellow bell pepper just to give it a little more of some color and also a uh, good flavor. I like the red and yellow bell pepper. Uh -huh. It gives a sweet taste to that. This needs to saute and simmer. I got it on here. Yeah, it's cooking pretty good. Yeah. We're going to saute those. Just kind of saute these down until they get, get tender. Smells great. Oh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about some of the variety of appliances that you guys are, are carrying now in your new showroom. Oh, we've got everything for the home that you could imagine. Everything from a whole house generator. And, you know, when Michael came through and did all that damage, wouldn't you have loved to have had a oh, whole man. house generator? I wish I'd have had one then. I'd yeah. have used one. Yeah, you know, that, that was so nice. And we've got the uh, complete line of the Renai Tankless Water Heater products. I got um, one of those at my house, and yeah. I love it. And at my store, both Carol's sausages right. have those. And we thank Saving you. Saving a ton on our electrical bill, too, by the way. Thank I'm going to have to give him a discount now on his gas price. Yep, there we go. Right. There we go. And uh, uh, we have those. And come check out all the gas logs that we have. And um, and we've got we've got a lot of deals on that too. You know, if you'll combine, if you'll buy a set of, did you know if you buy a set of gas logs from us and let us put in the Renai tankless water heater at the same time, we'll give you 25% off on those gas logs. Oh, that's a great buy. I mean, how that's can you good. turn that down? And you'll bring the gas in the tank and Absolutely. set all that up too. Absolutely. Do you guys have, y'all, most people on a schedule as far as you go around and... A lot of people we know, do. And I know if, we're used to. Yeah. We used and, to it, and if they do, we give them, you know, at residential, we give them a discount if they let us do that. Just set up, come by, refill yeah. the tank. You don't ever have yeah. to worry about it. Get it set up. Y'all service what kind of area? From we co we cover, uh, here we cover a little over 28 counties in South Georgia. Uh, we have three offices in Vidalia, Tipton, Sylvester. And uh, we have about... We, well, we have 31 employees, um, have, and that's Bobby Dollar and I were talking about this a while ago, and he was telling me how he was blessed last year. The Lord blessed him with some very good sales, and he made a comment that I'll echo. He said, you know, I can attribute that back to the good employees that I have. Yeah. And that's why if you're going to have a successful business, you've got to have great employees, and that's we have that here at Conger. We, we really stress service, and so... We go an extra mile making sure our guys go to all the latest training schools and service schools so that if you do have a problem with one of the appliances out here, we can service every one of them and we can take care of you. And all you have to do is call us and we handle it from there. Even if it's under warranty, we've already registered it for you. Um, we've done all your paperwork. All you've got to do is enjoy it and pay for it, but enjoy it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm definitely interested in some of your grills. What, what, tell me a little bit about your new, I mean, you got some new ones. Oh, out yeah, there. yeah, you? yeah. We've, we've always in the past just had gas grills, you know, because I'm a propane guy, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, but the pellet grill is the largest growing grill segment out there. Um, that's the largest thing, and it's so simple, and you can do all the different flavors. It's just, uh, Really simple, you pour the pellets in the hopper that you have there, you set your temperature that you want it on, and if you want to take some of those good, I was thinking about this a while ago, those St. Louis style ribs, mm -hmm. you, you and I are on the same wavelength mm -hmm. about what kind of rib is mm -hmm. best. I love them. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the best meat. Yep. It's got so much flavor. Tender. Yeah, and those you had a while ago were beautiful mm -hmm. from Carol's mm -hmm. Sausage. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, you just put it on there, and you say, if you want to cook it on 250 degrees, you put it on 250, let it get up to temperature, put your put the ribs on there, put it down, and go have a good time. That's it. Yeah. You know, and then come back later and check them. That's what I need at the house. And they're going to be in good shape. I need to get one of those for home. And good smoke in it. Yeah, really good smoke. Well, I've added the, as you notice out here, you guys, I've already added the, the uh, ground, browned, pre-browned mild pan sausage I got from Carol's earlier. And uh, I put a little salt, pepper, just enough salt and pepper to kind of to season the vegetables. I'm not worried, I'm not trying to season the meat because it's already got salt and all the seasoning mm -hmm. and flavor in it. And I've kind of browned the, uh, not browned the vegetables, but got them, you know, sauteed down where they're beginning to get, get tender. I'm going to go ahead and add in the eggs. 
The recipe calls for about five eggs, but this is actually a few more eggs than that because, like I said, I'm trying to, you know, we're trying to serve a bigger crowd here tonight. And it's a lot of meat for, uh, for what we're doing, too. I'm going to turn that down a little. You want to mix that egg in. You have to do this pretty quick because that egg is going to start cooking. And this, you have to be sure you blend this, blend all that meat and the vegetables in with the egg real quick. Just kind of saute them in. Man, that looks good. Uh -huh. That looks good, Hugh. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. This is, I mean, you can even, you can do this, uh, if you want to put this on a, a, a slice of bread, or if you're on a diet and you don't want a bread, just, you know, this is good just plot by itself. Um, I'm going to be putting them on a tortilla. This makes a really good breakfast burrito. Like I said, in the morning, you can just, you grab, you, you can even fix these up the day before and have them in the refrigerator and just yeah. pop them in the microwave oh, for just, you know, 30 seconds or so to warm them up. Um, of course, obviously, they're going to be better when they're fresh. Okay, we're just going to kind of let that. Well, you know, I bet my wife is sitting back there watching all this. I bet in the morning she's going to get up early and, yep, and she'll fix be cooking. this for me. So you can start bringing this to work every morning. That's and you right. don't have to worry about anybody That's laying right. out. They'll, they'll be at work every day. That's right. Nobody's know that's going to happen. I just added about a couple, two, three cups of cheese or so to that. I'm going to mix this cheese in. Oh, yeah, we're getting there now. Yeah. I'm just going to kind of mix the cheese in. I'm using a shredded, uh, sharp shredded hoop cheese. Pepper jack is good with this. Um, a white cheddar is good with this. My buddy from Social Circle there, Ken, Fox Vineyard Winery, he's a uh, box of smoked Gouda cheese with his. Uh -huh. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we got some folks in the audience, they just like cheese. That's it right. doesn't really matter. Okay, that there's getting there. Um, oh, that's great. That looks good. Now, this is, uh, this is some of Laura Joe's tomato relish mm. you can do it different you can do it one you can do it a couple different ways you can add it you know with along with your uh tortilla after you put your mixture on the tortilla then add the the, the tomato relish, relish to it she's got good salsa too but the uh -huh. tomato relish to me just it's a little different and, it, and it's a little it's got it's a little sweeter than, uh -huh. the, than the, the relish but what i like to do is i'm going to go ahead and mix this into uh Go ahead and mix a little bit into this mixture and just kind of let it. And then I'm then I'm done. I'm gonna mix this up and we're gonna switch it all. Put a lid on it and it's it'll be. I mean that's it. And it, everything will finish up. And then you don't really make such a. To me, it, it gets some salsas are just messy. And when you add them to the, the your burrito, it's running out all over your hand. So by adding it into this mixture, you don't have that problem. It this it just holds together a lot better. And then egg. As it cooks in with the rest of this stuff, onions and bell peppers and sausage, it just all begins to hold itself together, and that's it. But that good pork sausage from mm. Carol's Sausage is what's going to make the difference in this. And we got mild, medium, hot jalapeno and cheese. We got a flavor for just about anybody. All occasions. That's right. Okay, I'm going to put the lid back on, cut that off, and we've got, I've already warmed up some tortillas these are just a regular flour tortilla let's see here let's go ahead and fix one of these up these are the uh, 10 inch 10 inch tortillas which you can use a smaller one you know for breakfast these are good to go and they can get most of these items at your place. Yep, that's right. At Ashburn mm -hmm. or yep. over in Sylvester, Sylvester right? Mm -hmm. There we go. Well, let me move that over just a little bit. I had it in my mind how I was going to roll these, and I'm doing it different than what I was planning. Okay, there we go. Well, as good as that smells, you may not have a chance to roll it. Flip, flip, flip. And I'll tell you something else you can do that's really, that I like to do at home. I didn't, I didn't prepare to do that today. But... Uh, Take that, put a little butter in a skillet, just set that back over mm. here, just heat it on both sides, flip it, heat it a little bit, and 
it even makes it even better. So, butter makes everything better. There you go. And so does bacon. There you go. Carol sausage is, sets any recipe off. So, so here's an idea for a new item that you need to get in at Carol sausage. Bacon flavored butter. Bacon flavored butter. That will be I good. Mean, I mean, how can you go wrong with that combination? Bacon, oh, that'd be great. Bacon flavored butter. Seems like it'd be easy to do too. Yeah, Just mix it all together Somebody's got to let it roll. That. Well, sir, hey, I've enjoyed it. Hey, this has been great. You're going to come back on and be a guest again because yeah, we'll try. We're going to have to get you back on the show again. And I know we'll gonna, be back down here. And we're going to have to have you back down here. Oh, we'll be here. Yeah, yeah. We're going to plan another event. Matter of fact, this might be some, maybe end up being a regular thing. So if you want to come be a part of the studio audience, yeah, check out Congregas, uh, lpgas.com. Mm -hmm. Check us out at Carol Sausage. Give us a call. Go to my Facebook yeah. page. Carol Sausage Facebook page, give, give us a like. And by the way, uh, if you go, we're doing this every month with Carol Sausage. You may want to do this with a grill or something down okay. here. Go to our page, like our page, comment what you like about us, and we're going to enter you into a uh, $100 for a $100 gift card. And we're going to be doing that every month. Kirsten, what you think about that? Kirsten's giving me a two thumbs up right there. So we're going to get a grill and a $100 gift card, hopefully. Away we'll we'll work something out. <laughs> we'll work something out. I'm trying to talk him out of one of these grills here. Right? <laughs> We're going to get a heater and a grill and one of these gas log fireplaces here real soon from you, though. And, yeah. And uh, let you guys come and do the install. And, and, yeah. Well, hey, man, we appreciate it. Appreciate you being on. Appreciate you letting us come down here. Appreciate right? you doing this, brother. And, uh, yes, sir. And all of you viewing, watching, thank you so yeah. much for tuning in today to, to the show. And uh, y'all don't go anywhere. Hey, we'll be back shortly. Thank you. Goods of Pecans is your family-owned source known for growing pecans with exceptional taste and quality. Now introducing a variety of all-natural pecan butters alongside their toasted gourmet treats. Taste for yourself their flavors of cinnamon, sugar, sea salt, and brand new sriracha. Don't forget to put pecan butter on your shopping list this season. And remember to shop Georgia Grown. Visit goodsofpecans.com to learn more about the products, view recipes, and to purchase pecans and pecan butter for your family. Wind down your weekday at Gin Creek Vineyards. Step inside the old pack house to sample any of our 13 wines. Can't get to Gin Creek? Gin Creek wines are now available at your local package store, making it even more convenient for you to relax and enjoy your weekday wind down with a sip of history from Gin Creek Vineyards. The freshest meats from the farm to your table. You know it's good when you see that Carol's label. Sausage just like Grandpa used to make. Mouth water and ribs, chops, bacon, and steak. Your family's gonna love it. So do yourself a favor. Carol sausage and meats. Your choice for mealtime flavor.